Hi, so today I'm just going to show how to sign up with uh, Cloudways um, for WordPress websites and particularly just to, to walk through the steps of actually signing up the account and um, start to look at some of the basic features of a Cloudways account so that new people new, who are new to the service can see how the process works and also understand a little bit about how the sign up will relate to if you've had a message from Silicon Dales um, in relation to a new Cloudways account exactly where some of these features might be. So I'm just um, on the Silicon Dales website and as you can see it's the top five WooCommerce hosts. Uh, just quickly before going through the process of signing up the account I did want to take just a moment to explain why uh, Cloudways is is right up there as uh, as the rec number one recommended host. Um, the main reason is the ability to select from multiple providers, which we'll be able to see in a minute, um, gives it gives a huge amount of flexibility. But what Cloudways actually does as a panel is it sits in front of, um, for example, AWS and Vulture, uh, Digital Ocean. Um, Google Cloud Platform and Linode and it, and it actually provides a layer of management um, and, and kind of management is quite a vague and abstract concept uh, when it comes to WordPress hosts and um, particularly web hosts as well um, but the actual management that's provided is it's, it's broadly speaking automated um, and that automation is actually managing the stack that sits on the uh, cloud instance that you're going to be firing up. Um, so the web server, the database server, um, the various uh, things that can be added onto the service have all been set up and pre-configured um, to be optimized for whatever application you happen to be hosting. So if it's WordPress, uh, standard WordPress instance, if it's WordPress multi-sites, or if it's uh, WordPress with WooCommerce, each of those things has already been pre-optimized. Now, there's a few things um, that that we uh, at Silicon Dales, as kind of expert developers, what well, there's a few things that we will normally toggle. Uh, there's a few settings that we'll normally configure, but straight out of the box, Cloudways is probably uh, well. It is. You can see we've put it as a number one um, number one host for WooCommerce. It is very close to uh, being optimal as soon as you fire up one of these instances. Um, so let's go ahead and get one of these instances uh, started. So I've just clicked through to Cloudways and you can see here's the um, quite recently changed um, homepage. Um, there's a start free button top right that's get started free obviously clues in the in the button um, you can get started and it doesn't actually cost you anything to sign up the account so I've got a, a Cloudways uh, test um, account email address that I'm going to use for this and it is there I'm just going to put in a test password it doesn't actually matter what you put in for these boxes, it's just for marketing purposes, but um, we're going to act as if we're not spending a lot on our um, business, and we'll say we're uh, a blogger, let's say. Uh, we'll start free, and this should, uh, this should get the account going. Now, there'll be an email in your inbox that you'll need to confirm. which I've got just now. So I've confirmed that. Now, there's obviously a lot of stuff here um, that's, just, that's just come in. So the first step that you're going to need to do is to choose an application. Um, now obviously if you're doing a custom PHP application, you would choose that. 
Um, before in the past, I've done tutorials on Magento. There's Drupal, there's PrestaShop, Moodle, um, all kinds of bits and pieces that can be pre-configured. Um, we're going for WordPress because it's not only the most popular CMS in the world, but it's also uh, what we tend to deal with every day. Uh, so WordPress uh, version 4.9.8. It doesn't actually matter if the WordPress version is different from the version that's um, if you've got an existing site, uh, the version that you're going to be copying across, um, the actual database and version will copy across when you go to do that. Um, so just for the purposes of setting this up, um, I'll give the application a name um, and make it clear that it's the application as opposed to the server. Give the server a name and you can get a project name as well. Um, so you can test project and then the next part um, this is the bit that normally I would um, if I if I'm communicating with a client I will mention um, which one to sign up with um, there's different options now you can see the monthly price um, for each option and you can actually see that they tend to be priced sort of similarly to each other. So if you're looking at a two gigabyte instance, Linode's $24, Vulture's 23 AWS is a bit more expensive, but there are reasons why it's worth having. Um, the main reason why you would, um, where, where you would gain an advantage in having an AWS account is the ability to scale your server up and down once you've um, signed it up. So you've got um, different instance types with each of these providers, um, but most of them, apart from AWS, if you scale up, you cannot scale back down um, on a live instance. So you need to bear that in mind. If you're expecting to have traffic spikes, if you're expecting to have periods of time when you would like a larger instance and then to be able to scale it back down, AWS is often a very good choice. The other thing that leads to the choice that you make, uh, the decision that you make of which of the providers to use is instance availability and particularly the region or the location of the server. Now the location choice is very important. Um, the nearer the location is to the location of your main group of users and with a lot of sites they can be, you know, you can be quite specific about where your main group of users will reside. The closer it is, the easier it is for you to um, make sure the site is fast for those uh, core users. So you've got um, different choices with different providers. I tend to go with Vulture um, if there's uh, if there's no particular preference. Um, the Vulture instances are pretty good and they're cost effective. DigitalOcean is also good, um, but that the, the the instance availability on the sizes that I'm normally using and the locations um, that are normally appropriate is Vulture's, Vulture's usually a good place to start. And then if you're getting into uh, instance availability issues, then obviously you can look through the different providers and say, oh, actually, you know, we're looking for one in a specific location um, and then find one of those. But Vulture... On the standard two gigabyte instance in Frankfurt is the one I'm going to go forward with here. I'm going to launch this and then I'm going to pause the video because you can see we've got instance is going to be available in 13 minutes. So that first step that we've gone through there is signing up and adding your initial instance.